Hello, people. So, I know that I said that I wanted to do a live stream for this when I beat all the levels in Dancing Line, and I showed you guys all of my favorite ones and all of the really important ones to me uh, in a live stream, but because I do not have Dancing Line Premium, and if I have my internet on, then I get ads, which will be ridiculously annoying for the stream, I just decided to put a compilation of me talking about all of these levels in a video, which is this. And I'm going to do a brief intro about the game. So if you did not know, this game has been stopped from development by Cheeto Mobile, which is the company that created it about two years ago, which is pretty sad. And I just wanted to look back on all my favorite levels and appreciate it and just talk about why I like this game so much. Uh, it is pretty sad to see it die. But anyway, here are all of my favorite levels from the game Dancing Line. So the first level on this list is The End, which was made by a guy named Theo. I can't remember the numbers on the end of his name, but originally it was a fan-made level that uh, Cheeto Mobile decided to turn into an official level, so they changed a few things about it, but I think it was all for the better. It is a really well-themed level. The song is really great. Uh, I like a bunch of the parts of this level, and it is just super creative, and the fact that they actually chose to turn a level from a fan into an official level is just really great. So overall, this level is really fun to play, other than a few hiccups you might have in some of the parts. It's pretty flawless, and so yeah, it is a solid level. It is on the easier side, but it will be a good challenge for beginners. Next up we have The Storm, which is one of the oldest levels in the game, and I really like this one because the score is pretty perfect for what this level is supposed to be. It is supposed to be a storm, it is like aggressive, and like this song just keeps on building up tension, and it doesn't really like break, and that's one of the things that I really like about it. Um, the actual gameplay of this level is so fun, uh, the theming is on point and it's not like the most heavily decorated level but it's pretty great for what it is and i just really like this level it is one of the levels that i will always just go back and play through because it's not that hard and it's also really fun And now we have the maze, which is definitely one of the most unique levels in the entire game. 
Uh, what I really like about it is the fact that normally, like in Dancing Line, if you just tap, then like your character will just go side to side. But with this, it constantly changes direction and it's like a maze, it's a puzzle. The score is exciting and the theming is really cool. And just overall, it's really fun and unique, creative. And that's what I think that all Dancing Line levels should be. They should stand out in their own way and this level most certainly does. And it is a really great one. It is not that difficult. So for beginners, it is gonna be a good challenge for them. And it's also like not that angering, if you know what I mean. Well, not that annoying. So yeah, it's a great choice to start off with. And now we have the basketball, which is definitely one of the more unique levels in the game as well. And it is one of three levels that I'd be considered like a sport level. The other two being the football and the racing. Uh, out of those three, this one is my favorite. I really like the music and the design and it fits the theme really well. The decoration is really cool. And yeah, it's overall just really fun to play. It isn't that hard, but it is quite difficult for beginners. And yeah, I definitely recommend that you check this level out if you play this game, and it is one of my favorites of all time.
Now we have the crystal, which in my opinion has the best score in the entire game. It is just really mystical and beautiful and it is perfect for this level because it has like this mysterious feel. It's in a cave. The theming and decoration of the level is so good. It is not that hard. It's fun to play. Just like everything that you want inside of a dancing line level, this level has. And it is definitely probably my second favorite level in this entire game. So yeah, it has a lot going for it. It is really enjoyable. Uh, it is a good challenge as well, just like with the maze. And yeah, overall, it's just such a great level. Especially the part at the end, like the music is just insanely good. You, you just have to wait until it happens to see what I mean. Last, but absolutely not least, we have the Chaos. This is another one of the older levels in the game, and it is probably my favorite level of all time. The song of this level really hits. Uh, it's really fun to play. It was the biggest achievement that I've had in the game for a while. And it's kind of just been a level that I've always enjoyed to go back and play every time. You know, like it shows up in the challenge that you get every week. Um, yeah, the song is great. The level fits in really well with it. It is a great challenge. Uh, the colors are cool, I guess. Even though it's lagging like a bit in the theming part that pretty much all Dancing Line levels have, it makes up for it with its gameplay and all of the background effects and all that stuff. It's really cool. And also, I actually used this song for the level in this funny video of myself saying, Libra because there was this sign in one of my classes in school that was like a power grid to the library but instead of saying library it just said Libra and I don't know why but I found it so stupidly funny and I just recorded myself like snickering and saying Libra and then it zoomed in on it like the what meme and then blasted this song in the background so yeah this is just a level that has been in my heart ever since I first played it so Thank you guys all for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Also, uh, that old American Cup song tutorial video that I did a long time ago has actually gotten a huge amount of views, and I'm very appreciative of that. So without further ado, that closes off this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.